Our search for spooky spots in Alton led us to a hilltop mansion with over 140 years of haunted history. So Sharon, tell me a little bit about what people, yourself included, have experienced inside this mansion. Well, just the other night, we heard a big knock on the door and uh, Jerome got up right away and looked out. There was nobody out there, so there were several people that heard that. Uh, we've heard footsteps from time to time. I've been touched in this cellar like someone took their hand and just gently rubbed my cheek. I hear a lot of things about sounds and smells and feelings of temperatures. Does anybody ever actually see something physical? We were sitting here the other night and I could tell it was just real a lot lighter over here. And really, when you're sitting in the dark, it's very, very dark. You can't see your hand in front of your face. So I could see that. And sometimes people see little sparkles of light or things like that. People have talked about seeing images inside the house when they're standing out front through some of the windows, right? Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I think that we've seen a couple different ladies. I've seen a gentleman myself uh, with a tie on which I believe was Paul Oshinger. I did see him again once in the cellar. The original owner, one of the stories says, lost this mansion in a poker game to Oshinger, right? His son, John Haley, that's one of the stories or rumors that his son, John Haley, after Henry died in 1910, that he lost it in a poker game, yes. Did you know anything about this place possibly being haunted when you bought it? No, not at all. No, and I wasn't too excited when I found out either. <laughs> I can imagine. So what do you want to do with it now? Um, we'd like to eventually make it into a bed and breakfast, keep it open to the public for tours and uh, special events. And it is all in history. It's not really my history, so that's what we'd like to do. And I do want to say the nicest thing about owning McPike Mansion is meeting all the nice people. So then, after all of that, uh -huh. right, the camera keeps rolling. We take these thing called, things called dowsing rods, mm -hmm. like two metal rods. You're supposed to speak to spirits through these things. If the rods cross, it means yes. If they point away from each other, it means no. You try to keep your hands no as still as possible. It means, well, you ask yes or no questions. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cross okay. means yes, okay, gotcha. pointing away means okay. no. Watch what happened. What if I said, is Henry McPike in this house right now? Okay, that's a little interesting. <laughs> I'm telling you, as honestly as I can possibly be, I was trying to keep my hands perfectly still. And the rods crossed. I believe you. Was old man McPike trying to tell it us he's still Henry hanging around? I smelled last year that's, when I took the tour. He's, he's, he's all over he's the place. He's hanging around.